For more market reaction, we turn to Callie Cox, eToro USA Investment Analyst. Nice to see you, Callie. What do you make of not just today's market action, but how we've started this new and apparently rough trading year? Well, you know, it feels like more of the same New Year, same vibes almost. And I think we're getting that, that after the Bullard headlines and comments we saw today. You know, just a lot of grasping onto kind of macro indications here and there, a lot of uh, trying to find some message within the economic data. And, you know, frankly, I'm not surprised by that because not much has changed in the past few weeks. And I expect we'll see a good bit of volatility around tomorrow's jobs report. So, Kelly, a good bit, bit of volatility around tomorrow's jobs report. When we look out, though, for the rest of the quarter, maybe even into the second quarter, do you think we're going to retest those lows that we saw in 2022? And what to you is going to signal that we are near that bottom? So I think it's going to depend on if we hit a recession or not. And I know that's kind of the consensus on Wall Street. You know, that chances are we are heading for one, but there's also a chance we avoid it. You know, I'm personally watching the job market and earnings to gauge if we're heading into a recession or not. Uh, usually you see the job market flinch first, and we are seeing some signs of weakness in there. Uh, but we aren't seeing uh, signs of weakness in the more leading traditional indicators like jobless claims, for example. So I'm watching those quickly or sorry, closely. Uh, continuing claims are ticking up, which is a sign of worry. It shows that the people who have lost their jobs is six months or more before that uh, aren't able to find jobs in a tightening market. Uh, so I'm watching that. And then I'm watching earnings estimates, which have come down about 5% or five percent or so this year, but not enough to make me worried about a significant pullback in profit. Do you think earnings estimates have further to fall, though? You know, earnings over the past 10 recessions, S&P earnings have fallen an average about, of about 20% in the past 10 recessions. So I'd expect if we did hit a recession that we'd see an earnings pullback in at least the 10% range or so. Of course, you know, history doesn't tell us everything about what's happening in the future, but it is a good guide on what to expect. So I would expect a little bit more pain on the corporate side. Kelly, when it comes to Fed policy, how aggressive the Fed could potentially get? We had a cash carry out yesterday saying we need another full percentage point from the current levels. Do you think that's, I guess, a little bit too restrictive or risk that that would be too restrictive? It almost feels too restrictive right now. I mean, we're seeing the Fed's medicine working throughout the economy and it's painful. It's painful even though it's a means to a good end. So you know, right now rates are quite high and we see the Fed letting its foot off the brake by slowing rate hikes. But we're warning customers, you know, even if rates stay this high, even if the Fed tomorrow said that they're done raising rates and they want to keep rates high, that's still a tough operating environment for companies. And it still points investors toward a more value-driven environment. Uh, and it, it really highlights the importance of financial strength and ca cash flows. So to me, the level isn't as much, the level isn't as important as, you know, the trend of, you know, where the Fed is going. And it looks like the Fed could stay high for a while. And you say it's portfolio purgatory. And what does that mean for investors and what ought they do at this juncture? Yeah. So I'm kind of hearkening back to my like 10th grade English class there. <laughs> um, yeah. So we're considering 2023 as a year of portfolio purgatory, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, uh, but it is a challenging environment. So we see it as two roads. We see, you know, if we avoid a recession, the Fed could keep rates high and that could keep a cap on markets as long as inflation stays high as well, because you're going to see a lot of what we've seen in the past, you know, a lot of rallies, perhaps up to the 200 day moving average, and then the Fed essentially talking the markets down. Uh, at the same time, we could see a recession, which obviously we're not cheering for that, uh, but it's definitely a possibility. And if we see that, we expect the bottoms to be taken out in the market. Uh, but the Fed taking action and possibly having to cut rates from there. Either way, we're telling customers it's a great year to prepare for what's next because the present could be painful, but we all know that bull markets uh, come after bear markets and one could be coming sooner than we think. We could already be in one. All right. I like that optimism there to end the segment. Callie Cox, always great to have you. Thanks so much for joining us here this afternoon.